Hey guys, Fusebox here, and today we're going to do a kind of a different video. Uh, definitely going to have a different feel to it. I want to talk about fusion events, and at the same time talk about uh, faction wars. So, I realized I'm, I'm clearly getting to a point where I have a lot of options on heroes. Uh, they're pushing me through Doom Tower on hard, they're getting pretty much everything done that I need done. But I still have not finished out all of my faction wars. Which is going to be even tougher now that we have the Shadowkin faction to deal with. And as of right now, I have Yoshi. <laughs> I did happen to pull uh, Onataro or The Void on my mid-tier account today, which is kind of cool. Finally have two, two of the Shadowkin. But uh, what do I mean by combining talking about fusion uh, faction wars and fusion events? So the way this fusion is going to go, if you're going for it, if you've been thinking about going for it, it this one's going to be tough because we just used a lot of resources doing this last fragment event. But basically you want to be making up food, saving every chicken you can get. And uh, you, when you're sitting at your computer, you want to be on 12.3, running the heck out of 12.3 on Brutal so that you can get as much food as possible and just keep growing that food until you have tons of 330s ready to pop into fours and and quite a few 440s ready to pop to fives you'll get a lot of points just for flipping them over into four star and five star food and then you'll be able to make your two or three of your favorite characters into six stars finally so that you can take them all the way up and use them uh, on top of that, you're going to want to save up gems. You're going to want that in case you need energy. They give you bottled energy almost almost daily in the shop with those free rewards that you get every day. Be saving up bottled energy, this gift from us to you. Be saving these things up. Uh, you should have a ton of them in your inventory by now. You're going to want to, uh, you're going to, want to run potions every night. Four nights a week, choose a different color of potions, go into your dungeons. When you go to bed or while you're at work, go to your dungeons and just run this on, on your highest stage nonstop because we don't know everything about what color fusions we're going to have to do to make this legendary. Um, or if we're actually going to want some of the epics. But these are the kind of things that are going to give you a head up getting getting through. Now, now where how does this tie into our faction wars? I have actually slipped quite a bit. I really want Lydia, and I definitely have enough heroes you would think I could beat all my faction wars, but I have not. So looking at, uh, right now we have the Ogren tribe. Uh, I'm just going to talk in general about about how to make choices. Um, Garush is going to be amazing. You will get him for free. Maybe you've already got him early. If you made Dracul, he is excellent here. Um, basically, I've got, so I built out for earlier clan boss teams, my, uh, I can't even think, uh, can't even think of his name, Brawler, Occult Brawler. He's really not that great of a hero outside of maybe Dragon on the right affinity or clan boss, but at least he's level 60 and he's helping me out. Now, Skull Crusher can pull some, pull some moves, um. He can give you that counter attack. He definitely has allied protection, uh, unkillable during that. So he could be useful for sure. But if you look down here, I guess we should go into include my vault. I really need to choose somebody to bring in to this faction to beat out the wars. So Gear Grinder is the one I'm working on because he comes with heals and he comes with uh, a revive. There are no revives in this faction. Um, Unless the newest member, Ugo, can do a clutch revive, but I do not have her. You see, this is what I have. So I either have to choose between a support champion or, like, you know, maybe I could go with uh, a higher damage champion. But I've got to finish out five, and I may have to choose a different one eventually to get this done. Each account looks different. I have other accounts that have finished the Ogren Tribe. Uh, it just depends on what you have on each account. But that means that Gear Grinder quite possibly could be more important than even one of the legendaries I would like to build out. So I need to keep him in mind. And also we have uh, the, dwarf, the Dwarf Faction. Now the Dwarf Faction 
I may look like I'm way behind, but I'm actually starting to get the things that I need here. I just need to build my team up. So if we include Vault and go by rank, I've got a Mountain King. Mountain King, I'm not going to build him out until during the fusion event. Again, combining the two, I'm going to wait for the artifact enhancement event and then I'm going to build him out as strong as possible. Uh, this does need work. Uh, I've got Melga Steel Girdle, who I know is absolutely amazing. She needs to go to 60. So out of my dwarves, I think she will be my main target. I have her maxed out on my other account. I'm going to bring her in. Uh, I'll probably leave the Alk Mage on my team. Uh, Dilgo is definitely a pretty cool rare. Uh, you know, so some, something like this. I'm, I'm going to map this team out. And then I'm going to put that into play. And finally get all these maxed out. Uh, now some of these I've already beaten and those I won't worry about but I guess what I'm getting at is just like when I made my Batman unkillable team by the way I, I have playlists if you want to go down and look at some of these things from the past you know you can go back but I, I, I talked before one of the fragment or fusion events how my plan was to make the Batman unkillable team and lo and behold Two, three weeks later when it came around I made that happen by by bringing up the right heroes during the events I used uh, you know I made sure to gear them up during the artifact enhancement events uh, I did everything that I needed to do to get the team I wanted at the same time as completing my fusion or fragment event and that's that's my plan this time my focus is 100% going to be I guess one way to look at this is to go in here but it's to get my faction wars complete so if you do this by faction you can see where your weak links are so as far as out of my vault I clearly need to work on banner lords on this account so uh, you know dagger she could come up and probably from what I'm seeing I would take uh, the stone Gerhard the stone and go ahead and take him up and I have a pretty solid team with a pretty good shot at beating this. Um, before I make that decision, I will look through my vault and make sure that there, because I know I have a lot of banner lords and there may be somebody that will be more useful. What am I lacking? I do have some no damage buffs. I'm lacking support, so I probably will look for a support first. Um, I've beaten my high elves, so you kind of just want to look through like a when it comes to sacred order I have a pretty solid team I really just need to do a little bit of gearing on a, one or two of them and maybe it looks like maybe bring in a support champ uh, somebody with some revives usually you're gonna want a reviver a good one and and so when I what I'm probably gonna do is spend this evening going through my vault and keeping this done by faction and looking at like uh, here's a couple of great support options for the banner lords I'll probably uh, I need to look at this one and I'll, I'll take some out I'll put some back in and that way I have my focus on who I need to be raising up to keep pushing on my faction wars uh, excellent reviver here she may be coming out of the vault even better probably as a reviver as cardinal so that could finish out 100% my uh, sacred order you know basically I'm gonna look through each one of these uh, boy the skinwalker is probably my weakest my weakest setup right now uh, but at some point this is gonna be where you are looking for a solid team of five and, and you don't want to just build everybody up you want you want it to, when you when it's time to go to 60 you want to be taking heroes that matter up to 60 and that's really something that you want to plan ahead on. Uh, my barbarians are done. Uh, even though I have many barbarians, I still want to build. I, I want for racking the fat. Uh, man, man, do I want to get Sky, Sky Touch Shaman built up? But I need to focus on the ogrins, the dwarves, the lizard men. I've got some new ones that are going to be amazing help in there. Here, I've got some new help for my uh, Skinwalker faction. You know, so I've got to start choosing very carefully so that in the end, 
in the end, it'll be much faster and easier for me to get Lydia. So let's go to that faction wars. Uh, Lydia is absolutely amazing. Let's let's just look at what we get when we get her. She has a guaranteed chance of putting a fear debuff for one turn, a guaranteed chance of increasing the duration of any poison sensitivity buff. So many cool places you could use that. Uh, attacks any champions with skills that I mean it, it really her kit never ends she is one of those heroes that can can put defense down and weaken on the entire enemy team but at the same time put strength and, and increase speed on all allies this move right here just this move right here on a three turn cooldown like this I need her for doom tower I need her to make my life a whole lot easier pushing through Doom Tower. Uh, plus, we're fixing to be, go you know, sooner or later, we're going to get extra stages on all our dungeons. They're going to be tough. I don't expect them to be easy. I already know Doom Tower is tough. It takes me quite a while to get through even some of the waves at this point. Uh, so, you know, my real goal as of now, unless I pull Draco or Venus, I don't have anybody that can take the entire team's defense down and throw weakened down, let alone give me speed and a strengthened buff, right? So I want Lydia, and that's my goal. Now, your goal may be different. Maybe you're work working on building that clan boss team. Uh, if you need any advice, man, uh, go to... Uh, there's so much information on Deadwood Jedi's site. His calculator is absolutely amazing, but don't neglect all of the little nuances that he has hidden in that calculator because things do change according to your masteries, according to the sets you're wearing. You know, I'm, I'm pretty well acquainted with this calculator. It works perfectly, but you have to give it respect and then it will give you the numbers that you need. Um, I can help anybody out. I'll try. Yeah, if you need help on a clan boss team or an idea, of, depending on who you have, it's not easy to do. It takes a lot of silver, it takes a lot of gear, and it takes a lot of planning. So if that's your goal, to up your clan boss team, to get it speed tuned finally, maybe just a simple speed tune, you would be amazed how much that changes your damage. As you're getting ready for this new fusion event, while you're earning a legendary, you might as well build that team you've always wanted to build. Uh, or go for your faction wars, or maybe it's time to get your arena team in check and actually build out three or four heroes that will make your arena team absolutely run you into gold so whatever your goal is start putting it down now hey get the paper out come on i'm not afraid to say it i'm an old man sometimes i have to write this stuff down make a plan uh start saving up spider gear silver everything you can save from this point on because the 13th not very far away but you can make it happen. You can make it happen. And uh, any of you have already reached out to me if you need to. Just reach out. I'll help you out along the way. Uh, the problem is resources. You need to be saving every resource you can. I honestly don't know if I'm going to pull this off on all three accounts. Because every month they give us a new fusion or fragment. But I'm not going to complain. So far I've gotten them all. And it's starting to look pretty amazing. Th this is so many of these were earned i promise e even down here i haven't even built them all out we earned him uh we've earned him we earned where are the legos starting we've earned this one this one freebie i earned this one this one i earned this one uh that was that was actually a lucky pull i earned one of them pulled one of them i earned this one uh, I earned this one. Most of these were earned. It looks ridiculous, but most of them were earned. And we're all going to get lucky pulls. We're all going to get lucky pulls as we play the game. So just stay patient. The game will reward you. But making a plan and sticking to it, I'm, I promise you, it works out the best for everybody in the long run. So good luck. Start making your plan now. I'm sure you can make it happen. I hope that everything comes together. These fusion events are hard. I'm not going to lie to you. They're harder than the fragment events. It makes it feel a little bit like work, okay? But let blue stacks do the work for you or your auto, auto clicker. Make sure that your tournaments are running when they're supposed to. Make sure you only spend silver when you're supposed to. 
only use gems and bottled energy when you need it. Don't use them trying to go for number first place in a tournament. Save them in case you get behind in a tournament. Um, food is going to be one of the hardest things to come by. Making feeders, five star feeders, you know, like 440 and 330. That's what I'm fixing to do tonight if I don't get any more calls. Uh, so good luck guys. Until next time, keep your plan on paper or in your mind. See it all the way through and enjoy the grind.